Kyle Mohan Racing. We've got our rotating assembly and rotors here for our Renesis Multiport Hybrid build, and we're getting ready to send it all out for balance. So we're going to check this out, how we set it up, and a little bit of what we have going on. An update to the hybrid build. The Multiport, six exhaust ports, six intake ports. So our rotors have just been side cut. I did this up at Mazda Tricks. This is a readily available service. Um, I still have to mark my side seal grooves. You can see I've got those labeled. I am going to inscribe those into the rotors. But I did push my race bearings or press my race bearings in because these steps like side cutting, deepening the apex seal grooves, changing the rotor bearings, all affect the weight of the rotors. So before you send your assembly out for balance, or if you were wondering if it's necessary to balance a rotor that has had any of this uh, alteration or machine work done, yes, 100% necessary. I would say this is an assembly that must be balanced, even though these are all factory components and for the most part came out of the same motor. I am running an RX-8 eccentric shaft. You can see it's got the four holes on the side here or on the lobes. Uh, these are slightly lighter than the uh, earlier shafts, like third generation or second generation. And then you have your GSLSE shafts, which are even heavier. Uh, so I kind of like going with the lightweight modern RX-8 shaft in these types of builds. I haven't had any problems with them. I'm not modifying the oil jets. I don't see any reason to on pretty much most applications like this. And we are going to use our factory counterweights, factory RX-8 front counterweight. And this is a RX-8 counterweight that I pulled off an automatic motor that was really crusty and dirty, so we had to do a little cleanup. But you can see it's ready to go. So with everything laid out, we're going to stack this assembly up and get it ready to go to Mazda Tricks for high-speed balancing. Essentially balancing the rotors to the counterweights. And uh, I have a balancing video I may put that in a link below if anybody wants to check more out about balancing. But let's get to stacking. Let's uh, set this setup up so we can make progress. So setting up our rotating assembly on the bench here. We have our RX-8 shaft. Everything's cleaned up for the most part, but it will need to be cleaned again after it comes back from balancing because obviously that will be some grinding and material moving to balance things. Uh, I like to usually get the rear counterweight on first. I've already got my key weight in. It should slide on pretty easily. It is a tapered press. You want to lock it in. Put a nut on the back. Your big flywheel nut. It doesn't need to be uh, tight, but snug is fine. Just snug it up. So being careful of the shaft. You don't want to damage it main thrust plate, one spacer. You don't need any of the Torrington bearings. Um, this is just getting the counterweight up off the shaft so you have appropriate stack height. Then we need our counterweight. Bring our gear on. And then our drive. And then we'll sneak this uh, keyway in which I'm not usually doing this on camera. So I think I usually stand it upright to do this. You can see you kind of should have everything fairly free moving. Um, if the keyway or any of the parts are binding, uh, that could be an indication of a damaged key, damaged keyway, or a bent shaft. It's also good to check the shaft for run out, which we'll do up at Mazda Tricks uh, whenever we're building stuff. and. Uh, this assembly still needs a front pulley, so I'll be putting that uh, front pulley on soon. All right, so basically there you have it. The counterweight and shaft assembly with the pair of rotors, which remember RX-8 rotors are directional, so mark your RX-8 rotors front and rear if you're shipping them out for balancing. Um, ship stuff out that's clean, have it set up the way you want it, to be if it's being balanced. That's what makes our balancer happy. <laughs> um, I did decide to go with just an RX-8 front pulley for the time being. I think I'm still debating on the overall setup, but uh, 
you know, you could run a, a single sheet or a serpentine or variations of aftermarket pulleys, uh, whether it be a replacement pulley or just something that's driven off the o OEM hub. Um, but you do need something on there for balance. And uh, like I mentioned before, all my rotor work is done because that does affect the weight, like uh, side cutting, apex seal grooving, uh, the fact that we went to race bearings. And this rear counterweight is an automatic RX-8 counterweight because the factory manual transmission cars came with uh, flywheels that the counterweight is built in on. So something that uh, I was able to source from an automatic motor I had. Just a little crusty. So this is an update on the KMR hybrid multiport Renesis. And uh, our assembly will go out for balance. Uh, n up next will be... Uh, Pretty much just wrapping up the block work, some final polishing to the ports since we decided on street port. And I've got to set up my stationary gears and then we'll be on to setting up the side seals and everything on the rotors and then to assembly. So I appreciate everybody following and we did have some good questions that have come in. I think uh, one question was asking, are there any apex seals that i know of out there that you could run uh stock rx8 height that would work in this configuration and, and no there, there isn't really that i know of um all of our testing uh we went to rx7 seals because uh, pretty much one of the early fail points was the shortness of the stock rx8 seal when it has to travel over that traditional rx7 exhaust port um Another person asked about if the stock ECU would work uh, with the hybrid uh, multi-port setup, and I do not think it will. So um, everything we did at Mazda Tricks has always been standalone ECUs or piggybacks. Uh, they've always been race cars, off-road, off-highway use. Um, that's really where I think this motor has the most benefit is that it really is a good hot rod motor, an alternative to maybe uh, some of the other blocks that are now coming into short supply. Um, so there you have it. I'm gonna wrap this one up. Thanks again, everybody who's following. Make sure you're subscribing, you're staying up to date. We're gonna keep working on this hybrid build and we're getting ready for our Formula Drift season, along with some time attack and a, a bunch of just other rotary fun. So. You know what's coming? I'm going to brap, brap, like a bridge port, brap on out of here. And uh, until the next video, keep those questions coming. And we'll keep working on fun setups like this. KMR. Brap on out.